What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here. Sorry for the darkness. I actually have to have my uh, car light on because uh, I, it's pitch black when I try to record. But each month, I'm going to pick one movie, and I'm going to do one movie review a month. And I'm going to post it on my channel and tell you guys what I thought about the movie, you know, what the movie reminded me of, why it sucked, why it was great, etc., etc. You guys know how movie reviews work, and I'm spoon feeding this like to you like you guys are idiots. So, I'm going to go see Taken 3 with Liam Neeson. Uh... My town doesn't do midnight releases anymore. I don't know if that's national because of the whole uh, Dark Knight Rises incident. I don't know why, but it seems like since then, there's not been a single midnight release. There's like 10.30 releases, 8 o'clock releases, stuff like that. So I'm going to catch the 8 o'clock showing of Taken 3. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it because uh, Taken 2 was just horrible. Just the definition of god-awful. And... Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, we get a little redemption for Taken 3. Uh, it's the same director as Taken 2. And uh, I watched uh, Jeremy John's movie review and it scared me just a little bit because I love, I love Taken. The first Taken was just a treat. Just a came out of nowhere, just juggernaut of a good movie. This is gonna be the pre-review of what I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be good. Jeremy John said the movie was eh, a little bit better than Taken 2 and compared them to the Hangover uh, trilogy where the first one was just amazing, the second one was just dog shit, and the third one was a little bit less than dog shit, but it was still pretty bad. So hopefully that's not the case with Taken 3. I'm going to sit down in the theater, I'm going but my other movie reviews, uh, February through December, I will try to do it at least in daylight. So it's not like mysterious, shadowy person reviewing movies. Uh, even though you guys know my face pretty well because my mug is all over my thumbnails and also my videos. So if you guys don't know who I am by now, then... Hi, I'm Colin Porkchop and I'm a psycho. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys whenever the movie's over and we'll discuss it. So I'll be right back, my little piglets, I promise. Yeah, I just got out of the movie, and uh, the runtime actually was not that long. The movie started about, well, it was the 8 o'clock showing, but the movie started about 8.18, 8, and it just now concluded, so... Yeah, but it's a two-hour movie. Okay, so here's my, rank, my ratings. Uh, it's Taken 1, Taken 3, Taken 2. Just like my uh, ratings for the hangover and the placing at it, 1 through 3. Uh, this was way better than the second one. It was the same director and basically the, uh, the same cast. Liam Neeson's character, Brian Mills, is accused of murdering Winnie, his ex-wife. Every time he movie, he has to prove his innocence. Uh, which, actually, Jeremy Johns was right. It was a big... Uh, Seems like they uh, took a chapter out of The Fugitive's book with uh, Tommy Lee Jones and Harrison Ford. Good cop chasing potential bad guy. Bad guy trying to prove that he's a good guy. So he's a good guy versus a good guy throughout the entire movie. I like Forrest Whitaker's character. He has the little chest piece and he has a rubber band that he fidgets with. And uh, that means he has a tick. That means uh, something to make him tick which is uh, basically Brian Mills is <laughs> what's making him sick. Liam Neeson making everybody tick since basically the day he was born. He, his character brought a lot to the story. His character would be like, uh, like his little, uh, his little cops, whatever, would be like, uh, we got his location from the cell phone he just called on. He wants to trace it before his wife like, no, he's gone, man. Oh, there goes his buddy right there. Uh, we got a trace on his uh, car. Do you want us to go chase him? Nah, not worth it. These guys are professionals. You know, just, like, he, he gets the bit. He knows Brian Mills. And he knows Brian Mills and his crew. So, it... <laughs> It's actually a lot better than him like, oh, he just calls from the cell phone, trace it! And then like, the cell phone's trace goes to like, Omaha, Nebraska. The movie was great, I liked it. You definitely can't beat part one. Part one is the jewel in the rug. 
spinoff of action movies. The second one was just a quick get rich scheme. Hurry, 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 we gotta put out a sequel. The first one made a lot of money. The third one is basically a, yeah, let's make it a trilogy and call it a day. I mean, the trailers are indicating that this is the last one. I'm hoping that's it because there's been a few movie franchises that are like, this one's it. Like uh, Friday the 13th Part 4 was the final chapter and they made six more sequels. So, go figure. It could have been better, but hey, it could have been a heck of a lot worse. I know a lot of people uh, that I've talked to and a lot of people that uh, I've read articles and I've read reviews and stuff are just dumping on this movie saying that it's bad. And uh, that's usually the case. When a movie is released in January, it usually means this movie is going to suck nine ways to Sunday. If a movie is released in January, they're squeezing it out to get it out of the way because they know it's not going to be good. Now, about May to December, that's when the good movies are coming out. I'm not saying every single movie is great at that time, but that's usually when the good movies are coming out. Like, The Avengers is coming, 2 is coming out this year. Star Wars is coming out this year. I actually felt the emotions during the movie. Like, I'm not going to spoil it. These are spoil-free reviews. Spoiler-free reviews. Like, when something bad would happen, I was just like, oh, I feel for that character. If something good would happen, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Somebody got posted in the face and they deserve it. Yes! <laughs> if somebody made a funny joke, <laughs> that was funny. So, all in all, not a bad movie. I was a little scared because it was released in January, and people did tell me that it was a misfire when the first movie was a misfire. And Jeremy John says, I'm not going to remember it. But you know what? I'm putting this movie a little bit higher than that review uh, of Jeremy Johns. Not saying my review is better than his. I'm just saying uh, because I like movies, all kinds of movies. I like the major blockbusters like The Avengers and all the Star Wars movies. But I also like horror movies like Behind the Mask which is a B-horror movie, which did not get a theatrical release. It was just straight to DVD. Movies like that. Like, it ranges from everything. Uh, Hollywood bought Blockbuster to a student filmed movie for college work. Just, it, it ranges. It's not like I'm like, oh, this movie only had a budget of $1 million. It's going to suck. Oh, this movie has a budget of... $50 million? Oh, I have to go see it. That's not how I operate at all. So, guys, I'm home now. So, my final verdict is, like my food reviews, I give it a scale of 1 to 10 piglets. This one, I'm going to use a good old college grade. So, it's on a scale from 1 to 100. I'm going to have to give Taken 3 a 74 out of 100. Not bad, above average, obviously, but it could have been so much more. It was a little bit of a misfire, not saying that it was like, oh, it totally exceeded my expectations, but it's the third movie, it's the final one, and the note that they went out on for the movie that gets my recommendation. So, Guys, go see this movie. If you have seen this movie, what is your opinion on it? And also, guys, if you can click that subscribe button right there by that light, bing! We'll keep the light on for you, just like Motel 6. And if you guys could also go like me on Facebook and follow me on Vine and Twitter, you guys can become a piglet today. All those links will be down in the description. So, guys, there you go. And always remember, my little piglets call it Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy. Sorry for this lighting. It looks like creeper status. Uh, but I will try to do better next time by going in broad daylight. So you guys take care. Bye guys.